Okay, so we are three days into a four day sheep hunt and I'm gonna do a pack dump. Start off, tracking poles. Always have tracking poles with me. Let's just get into it. So let's just start off with the clothes that I'm wearing. Um, obviously my binos, I run the 10 by 42 Vortex, the razors. They're my go-to binocular almost 90% of the time. Bino harness, I don't have anything super special on it. The bino harness has a, has a pack cover in case it rains. I've got a drop, drop chart on the other side and I got a Hogue, just a knife that I can quickly, uh, quickly access when I, when I need it for whatever. And that just, clips on, sits there. Obviously, lens cloth, keep things clean. So, I always have a 240 Peloton with me. It's uh, definitely my favorite piece of clothing. It's so versatile. You can see the sun's out today. It's awesome. It's windy, it's cold wind. So, it offers so much, and it is literally my favorite. Um, I have a t-shirt today. Often I wouldn't even bring a t-shirt, but I checked the weather uh, ahead of time for, you know, we're only out here for four days and I knew it was supposed to be sunny and warm the whole time. So I brought a t-shirt um, and that's just, uh, I don't even know what it is. Really at the end of the day here, I'm not gonna know all of the names of this stuff. I just know what I use and I know it works. We will put a good list, a uh, more specific description with the video if you really wanna check out exactly what all the items are. Uh, Kuyu Pro Pant. I love the Pro Pants, knees in them, especially you know, you're laying down on the rocks, whatever it is, they're fantastic. And then underneath these, right now it's even, it's hot and it's warm, but I have um, long johns on. They're the 118s, I believe, and that's, uh, that's the Merino. Um, beyond that, you can go to socks. I'm running the Kuyu height. You know, I don't know what, what the name of them are, but they're kind of calf height. And then you know, obviously there's my, there's my uh, long johns. And, and then I go down to the boots, uh, mountain hunting. I'm always running the Zamberlin's 2092s, the GTX's, fabulous boots. And then just a ball cap. This will start here. So weapon, on this hunt, um, I always protect my weapon with my Air Armor Tech case, which it's uh, inflatable, this 16 inch extreme, I believe. And that thing is fantastic, multiple uses for it. Uh, I keep my scope covered underneath, generally speaking, with this neoprene cover. It's, you know, just to keep the dirt out of the, out of the lenses. And other than that, I don't think these neoprene covers offer a whole lot of protection. So now the gun, this is a Climber 7 SOM by Gunworks. And I'm also running the Razor LHT uh, Vortex scope on it. It's a 2.5 to 22 by 50. Um, this, this system is just super light and tack driver way out there. Okay, here we go. Let's pull this thing apart. Water bottles, I carry two. One on each side in the big pouches. One liter each. So, top pouches, let's go. Pair of gloves, I like a little leather, a pair of gloves that have leather palm. So if I'm in the rocks, no problem, slip and fall, you've got that protection. Toque. And almost every hunt in the Yukon, I'm, <laughs> I've got a toque on at some point. I keep my range finder up here. This is the Vortex Ballistic, uh, new, their new ballistic range finder. Spoon. I always keep my spoon up top so I know where it is. I keep it in the same spot all the time. Organizing your pack in the same way every trip certainly makes life a lot easier when you're when you're, you know, you need to find something. 
uh, Princeton Tech. This is a heavy duty head torch because often this time of year, you know, we can be walking out in the dark, bush bashing, and um, I'm not afraid to add a little bit of weight right now because it's a bit of a it's a bit of a lifesaver when you really need to pack it out and it's dark. We all know what that is, and I've got some electric light in there. I think it's some bio steel and just some electrolyte replacement, and my phone. And I also have a cinch, so it's a bino adapter for where I can put my binos on the tripod and just cinch it down. My Zolio, keep track of, keep in contact with home. I have another pair of gloves. These are a thin pair for if it's just, you know, if it's hot out or if I, uh, if I just need an extra pair, my other ones are soaking wet. I got an extra pair of that. Then ear protection. So these are the axles. They're fantastic. These ones are fitted for my ears. So highly recommended. They're, well, everything is, but I, my hearing is going, so I highly recommend hearing protection because I didn't use it in the past. Um, sunglasses. So these are Wiley X's, Re really great sunglasses, um, great for shooting. I also have, um, these ones are the Breach, I believe. And on a day like today, you certainly want to have them out. So that's the stuff I got in the top of my pack. And now let's dig in. I've been on and off with my jackets today, top of the mountain, super windy, some cold. So I've been running this, which is the Axis hybrid jacket. Um, it's a little bit heavier than I would probably normally carry, but I, try, I thought I would try it on a sheep hunt and I'm, I, I really liked it. So I, would, I will definitely bring it again. Um, but if you know it's not gonna be cold, maybe you might leave it behind, I don't know. First aid kit, we are two or three of us on every hunt. So one of us is always carrying the first aid kit and gotta have it. I have two can of fuels of cans of fuel. I bring a cup for my meals. Um, we make our own meals at home or have been. So you just dump them into here versus, uh, you know, the bags that lots of, lots of meals come in. But when you make your own, you have to have a place to be able to, to eat them. And so I carry that. Let's go to the side pouches. So for me, I always carry my spotting scope and my tripod, one on either, either side. So this is uh, my tripod. This is really right stuff, everything. Um, this is the PT Scout on the, on the top. It's kind of new, which is, it's been amazing. I really like it for fine tuning and the ability to move, uh, move your scope around. It's been, it's been really good, love it. Today, for this hunt, I've been carrying a smaller, smaller scope than probably normal. This is the Razor, but it's uh, just 65 mil. And normally I would carry the, the larger one, the 85, but um, this one has been sufficient for this area in which I'm, which I'm hunting. So, you know, certainly when I'm out there hunting goats, I will always have the bigger but I didn't feel like I needed it on this hunt so far, and uh, this has been great. Cup for coffee. This is just my, my kit. Toothbrush, deodorant, you know, an extra small head torch. Uh, yeah, just my own, my personal hygiene kit. Um, sleeping pad, and here's a stove, so I carry 
a stove, just one stove for the team, generally speaking, sometimes two, depending on um, how long the hunts are. If it's nice and short hunt, we don't mind carrying more, but on the longer ones, it's good to cut down. Uh, these are my meals. And right now, we, like I said, we've been preparing um, our own meals at home and they've been, they've been fantastic. So they're just in Ziploc bags and that's meals for a few days. This is all my clothing, my extra clothing. So we'll kind of rip through that as fast as we can here. Keep it in a stuff sack, keep everything as tight as I can. Okay. So down, this will be, these will be the pants. This will be the Ultra Down Pro um, pant and jacket, the thin ones. If it was gonna be a colder hunt, I would definitely bring my puffier jacket. Uh, so, and then here I have a long sleeve. This is the 145. Just kind of standard what I would what I would take. And often, like I said, I'm wearing wearing a long sleeve merino jacket. Extra pair of socks. This is a down vest. So I have I have down pants, down jacket, and I have a down vest. And extra pair of underwear. And that's all I have for extra clothes. And uh, sleeping bag. Uh, on the outside, this will be the last, basically what's left in the pack. I have garbage bags in case we kill. Um, this is this is my uh, rain jacket. Often I brought the light rain jacket today, but I would say 80% of the time I'm running the katana. So I'm usually running the katana because I think it's a good combination between um, lightweight and and usefulness. Sometimes you get into really light ones and it's a little more challenging to, to stay dry. But uh, and then the last thing is this is my sling for the gun in case I need to be shooting off my knees. It's kind of a new system that I started using this year and it's pretty awesome. So I just keep that in the bottom here. And this is in the front pouch is where I keep my knives. Um, so knife wise, I'm running Hogue knives, the Expel and the Extract. So this is a you know razor style knife, which is awesome because you don't have to worry about cutting yourself when you're trying to remove the blade with this. And then I have a fixed blade that is great for, you know, if you're working around bones or whatnot. So I always carry two knives to make sure that uh, all my bases are covered. If I'm wanting to take, you know, around ribs and get ribs off, you have, especially like if you're using, you could absolutely do everything with the scalpel, but it's far more efficient to, to have both and you never know. And then I have an extra set of ear protection because <laughs> I, like I said, ear protection is paramount to me. So I have two sets in case one died and they don't weigh anything. So it's pretty easy. And then I have a lighter. For the most part, that's my pack. Oh, what do I got in here? I do have something left. I feel it. Game bags. Um, this, this hip pouch is now full of garbage. The other hip pouch is where I keep my pack rain cover. Okay, so let's tear. It's almost it, but I've got to go into the pack to finish it off. So in these two side pouches, this is where I keep my tent. I've got uh, 
two-person mountain star here. So it's just easy to keep in there. This side, I have my bars. And in my bars, I have a variety of you know, healthy ones. I also have some chocolate bars in there, some real food. I really enjoy the pro bars. Um, and you know, often I use have some bars with some protein in them, but uh, try to go a little healthier than, than not <laughs> nowadays. Um, and then I keep my tent poles and pegs in the other side as well. And that's literally my whole pack. So thanks for checking it out. If there's anything that you think that I'm missing or some really cool gear that you know of that I don't have, I would appreciate you letting me know um, for a full description of what I've got with all the detail. It'll be in the link. Make sure you check it out. And again, appreciate you guys uh, all, all being here and appreciate you checking it out. And if you have any tips, let me know.